Line 26A23, Chris Joseph, Alien Binary Codes, Chabolton Arcebo Messages, while well SETI. There's the alien radio signal. And this has got a, a long explanation of what's in this video. There's tons of stuff. Okay, so Chris Joseph, entire original message, binary counter intuitive symbolization, binary notation change, graphical elements, humanoid figure, solar system line, curved schematic, Arcebo telescope, non-mathematical symbols, aliens, transmission, number labels, atomic numbers, formulas for sugars and bases and nucleotides of DNA, tags, number of nucleotides and DNA, double helix, human height of human, popular of Earth, solar system, arbitrary tag placement, Arcebo telescope, diameter of telescope, silicon, uh, sorry, Just type over there, uh, silicon, elements, glyph, Ben Volcanes, colleagues, uh, work, nucleotide sequences, Dustin D. Brand published Alien DNA Chemistry, Silicon Oxygen, Cathedral Molecule, Phosphate, um, yeah. DNA Graphic, Alien Template, Chibolton 2001, Green Atomic Number, Grid, Calculate Below Molecular Structure, Hydrogen, carbon, nit nitrides, oxygen, silicon, phosphorus, silicon, oxygen, 4, SiO4, tetrahedron, replaces the phosphate, um, PO4, alien DNA between dexyrobos, creating hydrogen, oxygen bonds, human template, Arcebo 1974, dexyrobos, DNA molecular bond structure, nucleoside, nucleotide, cysteine, guanine, Molecular structure, DNA, repeating pattern, base pair, binary decimal conversion, and alien DNA data, keyword research, line 26, well study data. That's the stuff. January 9, 2012, it is now May 2014. Quotes from a blog. A real potential problem was discovered by Chris Joseph, who noted that the entire original message was filled with binary inconsistencies and counterintuitive symbolization. Not only did the binary notation change without warning from line to line below, but interspersion of a non-binary graphical elements, such as the humanoid figure, the solar system line, and the curved schematic of the Arcebo telescope added according to his assessment. Non-mathematical symbols which would surely puzzle any genuine aliens who happen to receive this particular transmission. Talk about mixing your metaphors. So he's showing the different positioning and the different things, tags at the bottom. So they use tags at the bottom of each section. And they said that's what they used to like separate the data. Okay, and they did a four bit thing. Arbitrary tag placement, see? So they changed the tags. A far more serious problem is the addition of silicon to the list of elements in the glyph. As noted previously, one can't help wondering, based on Ben Volcani's and his colleagues' works, what happens if you now insert silicon directly into those erroneous nucleotide sequences? At least one investigator, Dustin D. Brand, has already published a remarkable answer to such musings. A plausible alien DNA chemistry based on a carefully tally of the information in the glyph, utilizing a silicon oxygen to heat molecule in place of the phosphate in our DNA graphic below. So he shows the alien template for Chilbolt in 2001. The green marker blocks the atomic number grid dictate how to calculate below molecular structure. Moving from top to bottom and right to left for each green marker block, we have atomic numbers. One for hydrogen, six for carbon, seven for nitrogen, eight for oxygen, 14 for silicon, and 15 for phosphorus. Then he shows the silicon oxygen 4 SiO4 tetrahedron replaces phosphate PO4 in alien DNA between dexyribose creating hydrogen oxygen bonds. Human template Arcebo 1974. Uh, dexyribose is to adene and phosphate is for dexyribose and DNA molecular bond structure so it reverses it. The nitrogen hydrogen bond creates a nucleoside and the oxygen hydrogen bond creates a nucleotide. So that changed it. Below atomic numbers and from right to left we read the molecular structure as follows. Um, okay, never mind, I'm not going to go through all that. Okay, so that's from Dustin Brand. His fascinating analysis in part reads, molecular DNA structure the formulae for the molecular structure that makes up every single DNA strand remain identical to the human template, with one exception. In the alien DNA of the phosphate dexyrobose sugar, hydrogen bond is replaced with a silicon oxygen 4 tetrahedron. 
dexyribose sugar hydrogen bond. This is directly connected to the aliens inserting silicon in its proper place in the atomic grid numbers grid. This indicates knowledge of the dexyribonucleic acid strand and the basic fundamental properties of life on Earth. The exact formulas for the molecular DNA structure that form each link in a DNA strand are as follows. Dexyribose, okay, I'm not going to read all those numbers. But anyways, these are all the numbers that go with it. The molecular structure of the DNA is demonstrated by the repeating pattern of dexyribose and phosphate, nucleotide or silicon oxygen form on both the right and left hand sides of the templates. The molecular DNA bases each form a nucleoside with the deoxyribose and then a base pair with each adjacent base. The only DNA change is evident in the binary decimal conversion of the alien DNA, which is 4,000,4,294,966,110 DNA sequences or links of base pairs. This is a plus 5,2,4,2,8 from the human DNA number, which is 4,2,9,4,4,4,1,8,2,2. The Human Genome Project currently estimates 3.5 billion base pairs or links in human DNA. This is an interesting fact because in 1974, and according to Frank Drake and quotes by Carl Sagan, we sent our human DNA base pairs numbers indeed about 4 billion, not 3 billion. Again, in the alien DNA, this number actually increases from 4.2944 billion, which we sent to 4.2949 billion. The point is. Had he, we wanted or tended to send our DNA based pairs or nucleotide number at 3.5, we would have. Why did Sagan and AL think in 1974 that our DNA consists of about 3 billion more paste pairs? Then the entire genetic community had a large knowledge acknowledged at the time. And why did they apparently choose to send that erroneous information into space in their historic receival message? Transmission. Before we open that very significant can of worms, let's complete our tally of the differences between the Arcebo original and the Chilbolton answer glyph. And that's from www.bibliotechopolades.net. Data continues the next video. Thank you for watching.